wow uh, the main name have propagated um this um took about um i think 10 minutes all right but then even while while it um it, 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 while i realize it, it has propagated if i visit the your health powder from the ng it still gives me that error because of course I, I i visited it earlier on so in that case i just had to restart my system and then i visited it again and it started showing me this all right so if it propagates this is um you know likely what you're going to be seeing because you don't have any content on your site yet all right so um this is your health powder com um it's no longer showing us error is now propagated okay now what we need to do now is to install wordpress on this right is to install wordpress on our domain name so that we can start installing insta builder install um, all all those other plugins and then we are good to go all right so how do you assess your cpanel to do that you have to do go through your cpanel definitely your host should give you a cpanel and that is exactly um, what is sent to your email if you sign up for cpanel they send it to your email so what we do basically here now is um to go to cpanel you go to your domain name.com whatever your domain name is slash cpanel all right when you go there it will prompt you to log in um with your username and password with which they, uh, they sent you to your email all right it will prompt you to log into your user with your username and password that i've already sent to your email okay after registering your stuff okay now what i will do here is i'm um, putting my um uh, my username your health pal okay remember your host will send this to you and not the same username using logging into your email all right the email here is um okay the password mm. okay good so i log in as you can see i'm successfully um logged into my um c panel right now this is what c panel looks like yours might look a bit different but this is um how it's uh it generally looks like okay now the next thing we need to do here is to install wordpress how do we do that scroll down to the bottom you will see wordpress on mine okay it's on that software close app installer that's where my wordpress is this is what the uh, uh, wordpress looks like so when i click on wordpress all right it opens this other page then i click on install now it opens this other page now we want to install the wordpress on the root domain so we don't want to use anything slash so we leave this place empty okay this is your site name i could call it um your health power okay then i could call this one um solutions to all your health issues now these are the things that show up on the sites all right this is this one is this one that show up here then this one shows up at the top of your site, right okay so choose a username and password you want to be using i would use them um, i would still use my health pal sorry your health pal okay then password let me use the funny password here buhari let's go okay then for email here you can use this is email using uh, uh retrieving your password if your password if you lost your password this is the email if you lose your password this is the email you use right then another thing you also need to do please enable this it adds a layer of security to your site okay then come down here you might want to put your email here to receive uh, a copy of the installation details let, let me click on install now so we need a space of a short time maybe a mm, few seconds if your connection is fast as you can see mine has been installed my wordpress have been installed right it's like wordpress have been successfully installed at this right Inst administrative url this slash wp dash admin okay now to log into uh, and, and i've also received an email email should be in my inbox right now okay the email is yet to come but it will come it will come when it can <laughs> all right so to log in to your email remember i i, I supplied the username and password while creating this so i click on this um but i think because i just registered they will automatically log me in as you can see all right but um, even if they don't log me even if they log me in i will log it out and then as you can see i am automatically logged in it's not requesting for username and password because i just created my account now this is a wordpress dashboard but let me log out so that i show you what how to log into your wordpress okay so log into your wordpress go to wp uh, uh, your site.com or whatever slash wp dash admin okay and then it brings you to a site like this then you put in the username you created while um while uh, uh you know 
installing your WordPress and um, the password. Okay, Buhari must go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I click on login. Boom, and that's it. <coughs> okay, now this is what a WordPress dashboard looks like. Please don't confuse WordPress dashboard with cPanel. cPanel is different. cPanel is um, the one that brought us here. And if you want to go back, this is it to your cPanel. This is your cPanel, but this is your WordPress dashboard. You can use the same login detail, but know the difference. To log into your cPanel, you go to your site, your site.com, dot whatever, slash cPanel. To go to your WordPress dashboard that is after installation. It can't go to you can't go to your WordPress dashboard before installation. After installation, to go to your WordPress dashboard, you go to um my admin. Uh, you go to um, your site.com or whatever slash wp dash admin. Simple as that. So the next thing would be to start installing um the three plugins. Remember, we'll be using three plugins. One is InstaViewer, two is um the um, other form and then three is the social proof um, thing right so we'll be installing all of them all of them are plugin now there are two ways to install plugin all right sorry insta builder is the one we'll be using to create out our sites why the, the other ones are uh, one is for social proof the other one is for collecting um collecting others right you know collecting others people can fill the form now the, the thing here is there are two ways to install uh 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 every plugin one is directly from this platform and the other is from the cpanel one is directly from the platform the other one is from the cpanel now um, i would advise because installing it from the cpanel is very easy but some hosts will have some limitations installing some heavy files through the cpanel so uh, through the um the wordpress dashboard that's from, from this point now so in that case if it doesn't work that way then you have to now go through the cpanel right but i'll show you the two ways to imp uh, install wordpress uh, WordPress plugins okay now to in install those three plugins the next thing you do after installing WordPress is install those three plugins come here locate plugin all right move your cursor to, to the plugin it pops this out click on add new okay when you click on add new it brings this up don't install any of these ones here click on upload plugin come here browse the plugin you have here right i have three plugins and you get the download links inside the download area so make sure you download them to your desktop and then like i'm doing i can you know install it like i'm doing here so the first one is insta builder so this is the insta builder plugin is they are all zip files download them don't open them or, or, or you know install them like that upload them like that then that's it then i click on install and then as you can see is on zero percent is on three seven percent is on uh, uh, uh you know 20 percent is is moving all right so i think it's gonna work because uh, uh my host is very strong but some persons for some reasons their hosts will tell you when you try to install like this the whole will just give you error if it does that please ignore it and, and use the option two or the second method of installing plugins i'll be showing you right this one is going 94 so i think it's going this one is working all right so um it has installed it's refreshing some will install and then refresh to an error page if you get that that means it's not working if you don't get a page like this that means it's not working for you so the next thing you want to do is activate plugin and then watch what happens here we'll start seeing insta builder here right look at it insta builder 2.0 we're not using that yet uh, let's don't let's let's finish with installing plugin all right so these are all the plugins now let me install the second plugin but the third one i will now install it through the cpanel to show you how to install plugin through the cpanel then you click here again like we did before add new click here click here i want to install wp um fomo that's the second plugin um for the social proof is is actually in the download area you download it just like i've done and have it in your desktop or somewhere your pc so you can browse it and install it then you cl i click on install now this one is very light it will be it will install very fast boom as you can see activated now um the other ones um uh i can install here but for the purpose of showing you how you know to uh, install plugin using this through the cpanel i want to install the wp um form now the one that helps you process those form the one that helps you collect orders right i want to install that one now it's not that i can't install it from here but i want to use that method to show you how to install it from the remedy in case if you're installing on your own cpanel on, on your own water dashboard and it's giving you error message then you can use the option too so the option two involves you going to your cpanel which is where i am right now and then click on file manager when you click on file manager 
watch um there's no uh, we only have um sorry <coughs> asking me to update here we only have um um insta builder here the ones we have just installed insta builder and wp fomo so these are the two we have for now these are the two that we remember we need three so the third one i'm going to install it and you see it here you start seeing it here now if i install it you start seeing wp um form wp form here so there's no wp form here i want to use the ram method to install it and what i did was i come to the uh c panel click on file manager it opens up this one watch me i go to um public locate public html click on this at like uh, image double click on it and it opens then after clicking on that uh, you know at like image locate wp content click on this folder icon here double click on it and then after clicking on it locate the plugins double click on it and then this is where all your plugins are stored this is the insta builder i just installed this is the wp format i just installed so we're installing another one now now what do, what is the next thing to do locate the upload here but make sure before you upload you must be right inside the plugin you must have gotten just follow the step and make sure you are in, right inside the plugin folder then click on upload it opens in another folder you, i click on select file then i browse my file wp um forms okay it's uploading six percent twelve percent it's not that i can upload this through the uh, through the wordpress dashboard but because i need to show you the second method in case if the first method doesn't work for you because a lot of people when they try uploading it using the first method and it's not working they run away <laughs> but here it's not gonna be same for you because i want to um show you the, to give you two options and these two options must work for you okay so it's um, complete now as you can see um complete right now what we need to do is um go back to the plugins all right now you can see the wp forms here now it's not done we have to the next thing you need to do right click on this wp forms that's what you have actually installed and click on extracts boom it pops this out click on extract files just few seconds you are done then click on close now you've just finished the um the, the first part now go to your um wordpress dashboard log into your wordpress dashboard click on plugin again so that it shows all your plugins this time now locate the wp forms look at the w film that we just installed through the c panel now click on activate and boom you're good to go this is how to add uh, 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 install you know pl any plugin wordpress plugin that is difficult to install through the c panel now we've just installed that so we have our three plugins ready to go now we have insta builder we have um, wp um um wp fomo and then we have wp forms so we are good we have all the things we need to start creating out our one pager sales machine now in the next video i'll go deep into how you can now start creating that uh, uh as, as fast as possible see you then